major economic crisis is looming. The national currency, the Grivna, has fallen to its lowest value against the dollar in 18 years. Officials are blaming weeks of mass protests for pushing up the price of imports. It's here at the petrol pumps where Ukrainians are starting to notice some of the first price hikes. Just in the month of January, the cost of petrol has gone up by 3%. Car sellers are also said to be reviewing the price of vehicles. And the worry is that other goods and services will become more expensive too. I don't expect anything good to come out of this situation. I hope things will return to normal. What can we do about this? Nothing. We just have to buy pricier petrol, that's all. The protests haven't helped the economy, but neither are they the main reason for the crisis. Economists say the greatest harm has been caused by years of poor economic planning. In previous years, Ukraine try, tried to cooperate both in international institutions and uh, with uh, Russia. But last year, the situation uh, changed critically. Uh, Ukraine is under high both economic and political pressure of Russia. Ukraine's growing financial dependency on Russia hasn't been popular with global investors. Last year, key sectors of the economy like construction declined by 15%. Strict state controls and high levels of corruption are also being blamed. The EU hopes a new package of financial incentives will encourage Ukraine to look west as well as east for support. At this neighborhood market, locally grown food prices remain constant. But on the global market, confidence in the national currency is failing. Ukraine's central bank insists the situation's manageable, but without any real change. Ukraine's problems are said to multiply.